understand what professionals need. That's why in a new version of our software, we are adding the feature to buy Artnet license or Artnet universes. Now you will be able to generate Artnet directly from your PC from uh, our software. The whole process from the purchase to setting everything up correctly is very easy and in this video tutorial I will go through the process with you step by step. A new version of our software is available on our web pages. If you're not sure where to find it, send us an email to info at letstripstudio.com. Once you've downloaded it or once you, we have provided the copy of the software, extract the files and open setup. This will install the software to your computer. The installation itself is pretty straightforward. You will just hit next few times and then you will select where do you want the software to be installed. Once the installation is over, you can open your new version of Let's Trip Studio software. In a software, in top bar, locate Artnet activation button. A roll-up pops out with an option to buy Artnet universes. Click on it and a web page opens in your web browser. Here you can select what type of license you'd like to buy. So you simply type in how many universes you need and that's what you get. Whole transaction is secured over PayPal and this is our account. Within a minute, you should receive the email with the activation key from this email address. With the license key that you have received, head back into a software and in a top bar click again on Activation Artnet. There click on Activate Now. Within the pop-up window, click on the first item which says Activate Let's Trip Studio Artnet Online Now. Paste the key, hit on Next and then Finish. Don't forget to restart your program after activation and once you will open it, you can see that a watermark demo from the preview window is gone now. Head into a uh, activation artnet section, sorry, and there you can see information about uh, your license, the expiration date and how many universes you've activated. With your copy, you are not limited to only one PC. You can deactivate the license up to 10 times on a single computer and activate it on a different station, even if you are not online. Once you will deactivate it on your PC, you can see that the watermark logo or the watermark is back in the preview window. Once you've successfully installed and activated your Artnet license within our software, you can start to generate the signal within Let's Trip Studio program. For that, head back into the software, open a new project, and here head into a mapping section. If you've done everything correctly, in a bottom right corner, you will find a new window that says Artnet. Here you will add your Artnet devices. For that, use a plus button, type in the IP address of the device. Today we are working with uh, SPI matrix, which is a Artnet to SPI converter. Uh, in default, or all our devices have 147 at the end of the IP address. So type in 147 for this scenario. Close the window, click on add new digital strip draw the line and set up the number of diets within your strip. Maximum number of diets that you can put within one Artnet universe is 170. That's because there are 512 channels within one DMX universe. You can of course add more diets, however, these will be divided into more Artnet universes. So, the maximum as set is 170, so you can put that in. Hit on OK and now drag and drop your strip into your Artnet device. A pop-up appears where you got the basic settings for your Artnet. A starting uh, DMX address and also a starting universe. You can change it accordingly to what uh, you are using and to what you will need. In case that you are using RGBW strips, click on use four channels. Close the window 
And now to double check if everything is set up correctly, add new strip or new animation into your bank. And you can pick from effect effects that are preloaded with every copy of our software. I do like this one, hit plus button and you can see that it starts to play immediately. You can also tell on the device itself if it's receiving ArtNet signal by this little diode which is blinking slowly which means that it's receiving ArtNet signal. If it will be uh, blinking faster it means that it's receiving DMX signal. Also you can tell if the device is connected to a ArtNet source within a web configuration tool. Again type in the IP address of your controller, a web configuration tool opens and in a status bar you can see ArtNet RGB or ArtNet Pixel Mode. You can of course divide the strip into more sections and use only one universe. If you will want to use uh, more diodes you have to use more universes. For that if you want to tweak with the settings head again into a mapping section, select the strip that you have already created and change curve LEDs to let's say 60. Now you can draw new strip and again drag and drop into your ArtNet device into a ArtNet window and you can see that a starting DMX address is 180 bun because 180 addresses are used for the first strip and the universe where you added this strip is still the first universe that we have within our license. So you can close the window again. To better illustrate that we've created two sections within our strip, we will unroll this guy. Preferably without damaging it. Okay, so ah, I have to first connect it in. <laughs> the two. So you can see on the sixty diodes we've got our first effect. If you want to play an effect on another 60 diodes, you have to put in another effect or the same effect on the second section. For that, go into a effect that you have created before, click on the second strip, and as I said, you can add a different effect on the strip. Or you can add the same, which is this one. So now two segments play the same effect. Previously, in a uh, previous tutorials, we were working with uh, LEDs three controllers, which are all in one device that can also uh, receive uh, ArtNet signal. This little guy here is SPI matrix, which is only a ArtNet to SPI converter. One SPI output can put out uh, up to 1024 diodes. So in total, it's something over 4000 diodes. So this is also a pretty capable device, which you can uh, find more about on the link here. To sum everything uh, up, now you have option to buy a year license. You can decide how many universes you need for your installation and you can also use uh, live control now with our software with devices that uh, previously you were not able to, such as SPI Matrix. One more thing to remind you, you can deactivate uh, the copy or the license on your computer up to 10 times in a year and you can activate it on a different device offline. You don't have to be online. One more thing, uh, within two months before the end of expiration you can renew your license so you don't have to think about if uh, you have to buy it again. <clears throat> if you are looking for some inspiration, and this is really the last note, uh, check out this link or this link here for some inspiration from our installations. 
or if you're interested in our controllers, check out the video tutorials in the description.